Hello, everyone. Welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. So today we're going to look into a love letter from your true love. So as you can see, there are three piles here. This is the first pile, the second pile, and the third pile. Before we start, I'd like to mention that this is a general reading, but I am offering personal readings at the moment. So if you'd like to request one based on your personal circumstances, you can message me. My details are provided below and you can also follow me on Instagram. So please take a moment and use your intuition to choose the pile. You could also pause the video to meditate on the cards. And if you have your true love in mind, you can also visualize them while choosing this pile. Now, it's beneficial if you relax, so you can use your intuition at the maximum to choose the pile. Um, we can do some breathing exercises here. If any of you would like to follow me with the breathing exercise, please stay here with me. The rest of you. The timestamps are provided below. You can jump directly into the reading. So if you're ready, please close your eyes. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe the cool air in through your nostrils. Exhale. Exhale the warm air out through your nostrils. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Please open your eyes. I hope you're feeling all refreshed. Okay, so you can use your intuition now to guide you to the right pile for you. And if you're ready, let's start with the first pile. Welcome pile one. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So today we're going to look into your love letter from your true love. So let's see what do we have here. Let your friends help you. Very soon. Peace. By the book. The signed. Triumph. Okay. Passion ignited. Emotional withdrawal, base chakra, choose your battles, blossom, okay I'll just tune into the energy here. I have physically withdrawn myself from you. This is not easy. Every moment I miss you and there is a wave of emotions inside me. We had such a beautiful and passionate relationship. And I still feel the passion within me. Though I'm physically away from you. But I don't feel that. I can still feel you. Sometimes I can even feel your touch. You made me feel 
like no one else ever could. You made me feel so secured, so grounded. And I thank God I appreciate that I met someone like you. You are like a gift to me. I'm going through big and major hurdles right now. And to be honest, I don't know how to deal with them. Sometimes I feel it could be just me and my ego. But they seem to be really difficult. I am standing strong though. No one knows what I go through. I don't show anyone my emotional side. I just show how strong I am. I just want to be in peace. I don't feel I have felt a moment of being in peace since a really long time. I want to feel love again. I know you are my soulmate. I want to have a family with you. I wish it was this easy. I know it's not. But I really want that. I'm trying to work things out. I'm fighting for everything. I'm trying my best. I know you feel the same. I know you're going your own share of struggle. And sometimes you feel helpless as well. And I can feel how much you miss me. I don't want you to be alone. I want to see you happy. I want to see you smile again. I love that smile of yours. There were times when I just used to stare at you in awe of your beauty. You look really beautiful, especially when you dress up for me. I want to meet you and I hope that time comes really, really soon. We shared really beautiful moments together. We meant everything to each other. And I miss those times with you. Though you're away from me, I still feel you. I still remember the way you look. And I wish our children, they look just like you because you're so beautiful. I am working. I'm working for us. And I want to come back to you soon. Okay, pile one. Thank you. I hope you resonated with this. If you did, please do like and subscribe. I am offering personal readings at the moment. If you'd like to request one, my details are provided below. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Welcome, Pile 2. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. 
So today we're going to look into a love letter from your true love. For some reason, additional cards fell off for you, so I might need an extra space. So I'll just move this aside. Okay. So what do we have here for you? Calling in your soulmate. Children. Adversity. Mending. Universe. New beginnings. We have positive movement forward. We should fit here. Okay, embrace. Reach out. Strengthening bonds. And listen. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Yeah? Okay. We've been through a lot in our relationship. There were times when we didn't expect Things will be so difficult, but we did overcome it. This is just a phase of testing our relationship. We are going through a storm at the moment, but I can see the light behind it, and I know that everything will be fine again. It hurts. It really hurts inside. But somehow I have the hope that everything is going to be fine again. Our relationship is divine. And I know that the divine is working to make our relationship grow stronger. Our relationship is divinely guided and I trust them. I try to reach out a few times, but I don't know if it's the right time or not. We are going through a phase and I feel we are entering a new cycle of our life. We are entering the unknown, but I trust that we are being guided. What we are going through right now is a lesson we need to learn to strengthen our bond. The lessons we are learning right now is so that our relationship grows stronger, that nothing makes us apart. I say that, but actually we are not apart. We are one. You are my soulmate. I have understood that there are many challenges in our relationship which we have gone through in the past, we are going through right now and there is a little bit more time we need to go through. But this is only so that our relationship goes stronger than ever. We are working on a higher dimension. Please listen to your intuition. 
that will show you the right path. I know, on a soul level, you are higher than me. I know, I still have some ego within me, but you don't. You are very intuitive, very, and you need to trust your intuition. You will be able to guide our relationship to a better level. But yes, I understand now that we are soulmates. I have a lot of responsibilities at the moment. And there are many challenges I'm going through. But deep within me, I know that we are going in the right direction. It might not seem at the moment, but I know we are being guided towards each other. Listen to your intuition. Sometimes I send my message to you through my emotions and through telepathy. If you feel sometimes that is me, trust it. Because at the moment, that is how I'm connecting to you. Through my emotions. Okay, pal two, I really hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please do like and subscribe. And I am offering personal readings at the moment. If you'd like to request one, my details are provided below. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Welcome, pal tree. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. So today we're going to look into your love letter from your true love. So let's see what do we have here. Free yourself. Happiness. Chop wood. Transformation. Heart chakra. Balance. Daydreams and decisions. Manifest. And dreams coming true. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Yeah? I can't stop thinking of you. Day and night, you keep running in my mind. I've tried, but it's no point. That's because you are within me. And if you're within me, how can I take you off my mind? I really, really want you. I know you feel the same. We both are going through exactly the same situation. I know you feel what I feel. My heart really hurts without you. I want to be with you. But I know I need to work on myself. There is a lot of work I need to do on myself. But I am working on it. And you will be happy to know that I have started changing you'll be happy to know that i've started improving on my life i'm trying to be happy again i felt really stuck 
I didn't know where to go, what to do. But I feel I've started finding the way out. I've started finding a way of coming towards you. I realize that only you can make me happy and you make me truly happy. There is still a lot of work I need to do on myself, but I know I'm getting there and I'm so happy about it. I dream about you a lot. I daydream a lot about you, day and night. You are my wish and you are my only wish. If you are in my life, I will feel all my dreams have come true. I will feel that's the best gift I've ever got. I know I've caused you a lot of pain. I know you wanted me to change. And I am doing that right now. I'm more aware of it. I'm very aware of a connection. It's not been easy. I had a lot of fear within me. I was trapped in my own emotions and my own fear. But I feel free now. Whenever I think about you, my heart just expands with happiness. I can't wait to see you. I had to face my shadow. I had to go through a lot to realize that what I need to get rid of, there were many things not serving me and I had to get rid of many situations from my life to feel free again. I want to tell you that I have moved away from certain situations and certain people in my life. And this is so that I could come out from that negativity. I've been clearing many things. I know I'm so lucky at the moment to get many opportunities. I feel happier now. And I feel more confident and more ready. I might not have contacted you. But I'm trying to manifest you. I might not show it to you. But you mean everything to me. And only you mean everything to me. I have not taken major steps towards you. Not at the moment. But I visualize you. I hope to take steps towards you very soon. But like I said, I still need to work 
on myself. And then I'll spread my wings and fly towards you. We are one and will always be one. Right, Pile Tree, I hope you resonated with this. If you did, please do like and subscribe. I am offering personal readings at the moment. If you'd like to request one, my details are provided below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.